Hello, Corallians and Ref Borders. It's time once again for another Eureka 7 High De Evolution, I mean High Evolution, I mean High Evolution commentary. And we're already off to a great start as we're 20 seconds in and I haven't seen one Taplar wave or boomerang yet. Has anybody seen Renton? No? Oh, just another explosion? Okay. Oh, I get it. Dewey was a character in the show that was calm on the outside, but crazy on the inside. But now we just decided to cut out the subtle part because that's apparently what we're doing now. Ah, our first shot of a 10 years older Eureka and it's... Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Who did these redesigns? It doesn't even look like the other movies in the trilogy. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <sighs> I, I can't. Just, I mean, at least little Eureka looks cute. I'm, but I'm calling it right now. Watch it end up being Renton and Eureka's daughter for some alternate future or some dumb shit like that. What? What is this? We Bebop now? This is the worst title since the Xbox One. <sighs> I mean, just end it already. Yeah. What's up, people? It's your boy Slide Tag, the not so silent protagonist. Uh, here to do today, just do a quick video to obviously discuss uh, the recent uh, Eureka 7 High Evolution trailer. And really, there's not much to say. I mean, I've kind of, whatever I had to say was done in me joking about it in the commentary but really uh, i could do a 30 minute video going into the synopsis and why it's ridiculous and how i can easily predict the plot uh but it's just a waste of time i mean you can just go back to my uh anemone review and you can kind of whatever i had to say in that review uh, applies to this trailer i mean it's really the same thing you know, if you can understand everything is wrong, the fundamentals of, you know, what a record seven is, is just lost. And, and, and now, you know, we're in this dark timeline. And of course, though, the fact that it's the third film and they're having a 10 year time skip, like another sci-fi mecha anime reimagining, I mean, it, it writes itself. Um, right now, I'm here to discuss just real quick. And I'm, I'm getting, first of all, I'm getting you out with the webcam video because I gotta be out of town in uh, tomorrow, actually. So I gotta get this video up quick. And to do the whole voiceover, over images thing, it just takes too long. So now I'm kind of doing it on the fly. Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, oh well. Uh, but anyway, I wanna talk about character designs because a lot of people are kind of shocked with the way this film looks and are kind of concerned about why it looks so weird. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully I can explain that, uh, particularly when it comes to Anemone. Uh, a lot of people uh, didn't know uh, who she was when she showed up in the trailer. And um, if you want to see a rant about the movie and about the trailer and how dumb it is, you know, check out Keys of War's video you know, that pretty much explains it, self-explanatory right there. I mean, he pretty much said everything that I would have said. Uh, but here, I want to talk specifically about why the film looks so weird. And right here on the screen in this Photoshop uh, uh, canvas, you see uh, this is a fan art of an M&A. I don't know who made it. Um, I tried to get the original character design. I used to have the PD, uh, the PNGs of the original designs, but I don't have them anymore. You can see that this is a basically the the the, the design of Anemone as we loosely know her from the show. Very simple, basic design. All the elements are there. The colors are there. The light tones are there. Uh, the pose is very reminiscent of an Anemone-like pose. And the character design has a few features that you likely see in that when you're designing a character, there's certain elements that has to be unique to that character. That where you see that character, you automatically know it's them. But for Nemine, it's the pink hair um, in the curls. All right, and I remember when Darling and the Franks was coming out. And the Anemone, well, well, when the Anemone movie came out, a lot of people thought that it was a Darling in the Franks movie. Why? Because Anemone's character design was very similar to Zero Two's. A lot of the elements that made her character memorable are the same elements that made Anemone memorable. 
It's just they think that a record seven ripped it off of Darling and the Franks when it's the opposite. But we're not going to get into that conversation right now. But what stands out about Anemone's design is the color of the hair in the shape of the hair. Now, when you work on character design, a basis on, on how a character design works, when you want to do any kind of redesign or any kind of pose, the, the key is you want to make sure they can know who that character is without looking at the details. So for instance, if you do a simple mask of the character, you can still tell that that is a Nemine. Uh As long as you've seen the series, you can tell uh, via the silhouette with the curves on the hair in the round head shape in the slender pose. With those elements, you can tell that that's still an m &A. Now, okay, so then when you have a new character design like Fuka from the High Evolution movie, the last one, um, you can still tell that that is the same character design despite any kind of changes that the character had. You still see the pink hair in the curls and when you cover up the design you can still tell it's her with any kind of basis on uh, just without even knowing the context of high evolution. If you put this character design out, you put it out in a poster, you can still tell that is an MA. You don't need any kind of hey, this is who this person is. You don't need a character bio or nothing. You can still tell that is the same character. So when you have the silhouettes and you put in the silhouette and then all of a sudden, who the fuck is this? You can't tell. Why? The pose is different. The pose is not the same. The way the character presents herself is fundamentally different. And what makes the character memorable isn't there. And if you, and even when you unveil, unveil the design, it still does not look correct. Why? Because the tones and the colors used in the previous design don't match. And like I said, people, I'm doing this on the fly, so just bear with me. The, the design, the fundamentals of the character design are not present in these new designs. Her hair does not stand out the way it does in the show. The color tones, Anemone has a very bright color tone. You can see from the Fuka design, despite her wearing a darker suit, she still has her signature red tones that she had in the show. So you still have that same feel of Anemone that you had in the original series. This, her pilot suit, is way too dark. It's way too dreadful. You see the tones, the black leggings don't work. The shoes are very deep tone red. That's almost a burgundy red. You can't really tell it's red. As opposed to original Nemine's, her shoes in the original design. You come up and you look at some of the other designs, you can still tell. You look at the Blu-ray box art, you can still tell from the back. That's a Nemine from the long hair that curls at the end. The new design doesn't have that. Why? Now, they have a new character designer. Now, anybody, now, there's nothing wrong with having a new character. Kenshi Yoshida has left the project. They're dealing with Masahashi Okamura. Who is a good animator? He's done great things. Die Buster, beautiful piece of work. You know he did Zamp, Lost Memories, which was also had character designs from Kenichi. Very good animation-wise. I wasn't a big fan of the story, but it looked great. So, what you need to understand is that we are dealing with people who aren't trying to make an Eureka Seven film. This is just, they're making a sci-fi action film. And if I can pull the trailer up real quick, remember people, I'm, all, I'm doing this on the fly, bear with me. Five minutes later. Okay, anyway, finally got the trailer up. Oh, Jesus Christ, technology. 
when you see the designs, they don't match. Right? When you see an MA show up, you don't get that it's her. Because the the signature elements that click in your mind when you see the characters aren't syncing up. And you look at the other character designs. And when you see Eliminate, or when you see Eureka, she doesn't have the circular shape of her hair that she tends to have. And so it's missing the fundamentals. What you need to understand is that they're working on a project that's not trying to be fundamentally Eureka 7. As I said in my Anemone review, they're not trying to make Eureka 7 movies anymore. They're trying to make sci-fi mecha animes that don't have the things that made Eureka 7 unique. And now when you bring on new people who have somewhat of an attachment to the original designs, but are simply there to do what they usually do, it just doesn't work. Um, and so you get weird looking designs like Tahoe's where you look and you say who the fuck is this you know Holland's design they have them in a uniform why because they're making another military sci-fi film even though that is contradictory to anything we see in Holland's character arc doesn't matter what the story is so you're probably saying well slide tag the characters are older it's been 10 years even some of the more recognizable elements will be gone okay then explain this shit in case you forgot this is what anemone looked like in pocket full of rainbows it was a whole crazy plot everybody was aging fast and they went they had to go into this deep scrub coral area to find anemone and remember in the flashback they said that her and dominique were the only two adults on the ship and when you go back to the flashback, you can see man, her and Dominic are oh, Jesus fuck. They're only adults in the ship, and her and Dominic have a di have a different character design. Man. Still recognizable, still in MA as an adult. So why couldn't they do it here? Because they're making something that is fundamentally not a record seven. We just gonna have to deal with it. That's why there's no real point in talking about this show or, or this movie. There's no real point in being upset. Well, there's a point in being upset, but remember, but that is why these character designs look so weird. We're dealing with people who don't have a connection with the material and B, have no desire to be faithful to that material. So, I hope that explains it, things. I hope that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I've accepted it. It sucks, we deserve better, but hey, the series isn't popular right now, okay? You go on Twitter, there's people making City Hunter memes. Okay, you go to the Twitter page, you look through the comment section, nobody's replying. And when they are replying, they're showing memes of City Hunter. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, that's my video. I hope that explains things. Uh, I hope it makes sense. Fly in the comments. Uh, I should be making a video in another two weeks or so. Um, and yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is your man on the outside looking in. And I will see y'all next time. Peace.